Hey guys, it's Kim Butterbones here, and we are back for another Kill Cons from Outer Space again. Today, I'll be showing you guys some upcoming news. So, yes, I haven't done one of these in a while. I think it's been like May or way before May. I made some crazy predictions, upcoming updates, future content, and they all have been pretty accurate. So, uh, <laughs> I hope that's a that's a good sign for all of you. So, yes, uh, shout out to Glushy. He's the one that had, you know, got into the files and everything. So I'll put his Twitter page in the description. If you guys want to follow any of my social media or support me financially, they're all in the description as well. If you guys want to see more Kill Counts for Honor Space videos like this, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button, notification bell, and without further ado, let's begin. So I'm going to assume this is the upcoming update for October because in October, there's going to be a brand new map. And honestly, I'm kind of disappointed to say that it will not be the circus tent so it can either now i'm not saying they can change it they can absolutely change it but i'm pretty sure it's not the circus tent it's sad to say you know they should really listen to the fan base on this one because everyone wants to go inside the circus tent so maybe it's an upcoming november update uh, December update, but I think October would have been perfect for it. But the upcoming map is the mall. So here's the all the files for it. The I guess like the buildings, the gameplay. So these are all the files that are for the mall. It's not fully finished yet, but I just want to show you guys this real quick. All right, so this is the mall map, and it looks absolutely well it's not fully finished yet but uh yes there are up to three or two levels because there are escalators in this map you get to see some palm trees some minor details and it looks like you can go in some of the shops probably not all of them probably some of them are closed and yes the clown invasion has happened already as you can see the giant ice cream in the middle i don't i don't know what's with them with ice cream to be honest i don't know the clowns do like to decorate by the way and the most villainous type way but yes there are restaurants you get to go inside of grab blue grab a, a revolver inside the restaurant for no reason but yeah <laughs> there are multiple levels to this uh you guys will see why uh there is the jojo sign there an arcade which i can't wait to go inside of a bookshelf and it looks like you can vault many areas there's a fence there and you get to go maybe on top of the building I'm not sure most likely not it's probably just part of the design and there's the escalator so there are it looks like two levels maybe they'll add a third but i doubt it because they don't want to increase the levels to make it hard for the clowns but it looks like there's up to two levels and yeah this is the mall and yes this is frank the clown and he just he looks absolutely stunning i don't know what to else say about this um he just looks absolutely great i really love him uh his twitchy eye on his left eye but yes he was in the files for a uh, quite a while and there's more people that are in the files as well i can't wait to show you guys but this is frank the clown so which one do you think is magori if you guess the left one then you are correct because uh there's very barely any differences you could tell on the face of course and the hair but everything else on the clothes and everything on rudy is literally the same thing the only difference is it's just the face model so yes magori is going to be in the game uh if you don't know who magori is he's literally the front cover of the movie if you haven't seen it already which a lot of you should have already <laughs> so yes he is the front cover of the movie and he only showed up in the movie like three to five seconds later on in the movie and yeah magori is going to be in the game so that's magori the clown so I'm going to show you guys the clown talities for this as well. But here are Rosebud and Daisy. And honestly, they look absolutely stunning. Now, I'm not sure they're going to be added as skins. Because in the movie, they don't really kill. The females clowns don't really kill. But yet, they can obviously make up something in order to change that. Uh, they were with the Terenzi brothers and... Now, I'm pretty sure they got laid, but yeah, uh, if they do come to the game, I wonder if they'll have some type of animation where their, their, their breasts will inflate or 
breasts i should say they're not they're not even, i don't even think they're real but they do inflate in the movie i maybe that will be a clowntality or some animation emo but i doubt it but here are rosebud and daisy the clown so yes this is the upcoming dlc skins for the game now i would say that frank will definitely be a dlc magori i'm not sure if he will be 100 percent a dlc because his outfit is literally just Rudy's outfit, and I don't think someone will want to pay for $4.99 for it, even though I would still buy it. But uh, I think they'll just sell his head separately, which honestly, it kind of makes sense, because why would you just buy the Rudy outfit if the Rudy outfit is already in the game? But they can obviously sell different body parts, like the head, or maybe even future weapon skins developers come on but yeah so they might sell his head for 200 or 100 premium tickets uh for rosebud and daisy i'm not sure if they're gonna be dlc skins if they are they're gonna be on the shorty category because they almost have the shorty posture face the same model as shorty now, i'm pretty sure the rosebud is the same model face for shorty and hopefully daisy as well i think daisy has the shorty model but they will definitely be in the shorty category as a dlc but i don't know if they are going to be a dlc because they are in a clown tality that i will show you guys later on in the video so that's all the future dlc skins so yes uh this is a brand new outfit for jumbo there are two of them and this one is the gamestop version of jumbo and this looks absolutely amazing the ruffle the outfit he got thicker thighs it all the different colors it's like a spacesuit type thing it looks absolutely gorgeous and the title is literally says gamestop and not only that you ready for this this one is called amazon so yes this is a different outfit color variant of it and i think this one looks way better the green, the purple, the blue, the yellow, the bit of yellow and the gold, the pink just looks absolutely awesome on Jumbo. But yeah, that's the GameStop and the Amazon. Now, I assume you're probably going to get these in codes. Maybe you have to buy some certain uh, Killer Clowns products, maybe a Funko Pop that comes with the code or something. But yeah, this looks absolutely amazing. So I already showed off the two clown tallies in my short already. If you want to check that out, it will be in my channel, of course. And it looks like we got three jumbos here with the ruffle that we already have in the game. Uh, that jumpsuit is totally new. Did never seen that at all. It looks like Jumbo has new face paint or eyeshadows as well, as you can see from their eyes. The hair color, I'm not sure. Maybe that's a different design hair as well. Uh, the the guy in the back, of course is jumbo which is your character now you get to become any clown in order to do the ventriloquist and obviously you're gonna kill the human and just like in the movie uh mooney got grabbed by jumbo which is honestly the scariest scene out of any scene in the movie and, and they're already dead they're just talking like like it's a puppet which is really creepy so this is what it looks like and it just looks absolutely amazing the eyeshadow there it's probably new i'm not sure bang but he's already dead i really love this one so yeah this is the ventriloquist absolutely amazing so this one's called the ball pit jacuzzi and the reason why i think rosebud and daisy are gonna be probably in the game is because the devs were putting a lot of work into these skins i don't think they'll put that much work on two skins just for a clown tally maybe they do uh i might be wrong they could be a potential DLC skins, or maybe they're just going to be in this clown tality. But I don't think this one is a clown tality, for se. I think this is somewhere that you actually want to go. Uh, you'll see why. Because this human does not die at all. So he gets sent to the ball pit. This is Rosebud and Daisy. And they straight up don't kill you. They just make love, I guess. interesting you probably thought it was just clown cosmetics as well no we also got human cosmetics as well and the last one you guys are gonna absolutely love it so this one's called the funny box and they have different color variants as well they got the blue one with the smiley face they also got the one with the angry face with the <laughs> two red circles and this one is probably my absolutely favorite one out of all three it's just 
it's just that. Just that. I don't, I don't even know what you call this. But yeah, there are... I guess this is some type of... Uh, Halloween cosmetic. I, I don't know. This is something random that they did. But this is the funny box cosmetic for the humans. And yes, uh, this is my absolute favorite out of literally all of them. What do you think is going to happen in October? Yes, they're going to bring Halloween cosmetics to the humans. And I hopefully, hopefully the clowns as well. And they look absolutely beautiful literally i hope they decorate the map for halloween on like certain games as well that they do like maybe have pumpkins jack-o-lanterns as you know some corners make the map a bit dark have some bats flying around some shadow shades in there that is gonna look absolutely amazing and yes it looks like we got frankenstein right there which you can see a jack-o-lantern on the side on on his right pants well we got the devil one on the right uh, which kind of looks like the biker uh, has skulls on it as well. We got the skeleton on the far right as well. On the left side, I it looks like he's German. I see an iron cross <laughs> in the middle of his shirt. Uh, maybe, I, I don't even know what that is. And on the far left is some type of green monster. But honestly, these cosmetics look absolutely beautiful literally i think my favorite one so far is the middle one or the far left one so yeah these are the human cosmetics so what do you guys think honestly which one's your favorite one that i show in this video oh my god there's a lot now obviously they're gonna change some things here there and there or maybe bring more stuff into the game now i'm not sure if they're gonna bring the dlc skins in the month of september most likely in October, but I just, I can't wait for this update to happen in October. Uh, Glushy, shout out to Glushy for literally having all of this. Um, I love you, man. I hope you see this video. I hope you do. But anyways, thank you, Glushy, for literally showing all of this. Obviously, i got to feature you in here. His Twitter page will be in the description. If you guys want to follow my social medias or support me financially, they're all in the description. If you guys want to see more Kill Comes from Out of Space videos like this, you guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.